Yeehaw, welcome to the Piggy Express. <laughs> I'm Leah. This is Almost Sweet Music, and today we're talking about Peter McPoland. Yay! Yes! Oink, oink. Yeah. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir Sorry. Piggy. Ooh. Sir Piggy McPoland. <laughs> huh? I don't like that. The album's name is Piggy. Is it? I'm not calling him a pig. <gasps> Wait, I didn't know that it was called that. Hmm? At the concert, they said, we love you. And he said, pee-pee-poo-poo loves you. pee pee poo loves you, too. Pee-pee-poo-poo, <laughs> <laughs> pee-pee-poo-poo. Literally. Ew. Oh, my God. He's a character. This is funny. Okay, so I first saw him. Did you go to the 21 Pilots concert in the summer? Over, the, like, this past summer? I think it was this summer. No. Well, he opened for them. You went and to the 21 I, Pilots concert over the summer? I think it was over the summer. And I saw him, and I said, Wow. Because you know Tyler from Twenty One Pilots, this yeah. is or he used to do like his like head like shaking thing. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, well yes. Peter McPollin comes out. Okay, mm-hmm. homeboy comes out. He says, "Hey guys, I'm from the Woodlands," and then would sing. I didn't know he was from the Woodlands. He's from the Woodlands, and he would sing, Tech- and Tech- he would violently move his body, <laughs> oh and God. he had a cymbal, and he was like hitting it, <gasps> and then his like hand was all bloody, and he was all like, ah. and I think um, did he take his shirt off? I don't know. He probably would have. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So definitely made an impression. Okay. I was I like, dang. That. Okay. Guy. I've never seen him at concert. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And a lot of like really good stage presence. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to start listening to him. Mm-hmm. And I followed him. All the things. Listen to the stuff. New album coming out. I said, okay, I'm excited. Let's mm-hmm. hear it. Let's it hear it. so different. Okay. I played it. Yeah. And mind you. Early Peter McPullen was like, I love you, girl. You're so pretty. Girl, mwah, mwah, mwah. My girl, favorite girl, thing to do is dance. Girls, girls. It was all the cutesy little stuff. This album, society, society. he was living in New York, burn, and he you, said, you get it. Burn, 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 society. Yeah, he That's said, like, he was living in New York, and, like, when he was recording it or something, there was, like, no mm-hmm. windows or something. And I was like, yeah, I feel like you can tell. Oh, really? Yeah, it just is so much, like, darker. It's not in a bad way. Like, Uh there's, like, so much more complexity to it. It's just so deep. I feel like, yeah. So deep. Fake deep. Okay. Have you heard that? No. You haven't heard the saying fake deep? No. It's like, um, let me look it up to actually show you what I'm talking about. It's so insane. Fake deep stuff. Fake deep. Fake deep. Is that like the he something she? <laughs> what was it? What is it? It's like he lied. He's, fine, she, he's broken. Or like like all that stuff. <laughs> That's exactly what Peter McPullen is actually. If you've never heard of it, it's like no, no. It's like the like I'm fine. He lied. Like those kind of things. Like that's fake deep. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. But anyways. Anyways, that's all I had to say. About okay, so that album. Tell me your thoughts. Let's hear it. No, I mean just what you said when he was like, "Oh, girl, I love you. I love you. I want to be with you." And then he's like, "There's just a shift to rah, like, rah, rah. I want to see everything catch on fire. Yeah, and I want to put everyone in prison. That's what I got from it. It was just deeper. It was just deeper. Hello." <laughs> you did you ran away for a second it's like if i come over here like right here right right here anyways there's like a blind spot a blind where spot it, like doesn't catch my voice anymore and i can hear it in here I yeah know. oh it's, i don't know why Boop. it does that Boop. that's odd um I don't know. okay so new album was definitely different and i think okay different when good. people like, when artists change up their sound, because I feel mm-hmm. it's pretty valid to say that that was a big change. Mm-hmm. What happens to the original audience? Like, I do... I would understand mm-hmm. if some people just don't want to listen to it if they came for, like... Yeah, because he was selling his tickets for the tour, mm-hmm. I want to say before the album came out, or, like, during it. Mm-hmm. So... 
I was like, okay. Because I don't listen to music like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just very, I don't know. It's not even like, what is it? It's, I think I looked it up. I don't know how to put that in a genre. Mm, I don't know either. Like, I did not. It's pop, but it's almost. Like it's it's kind of indie. It's like it's indie rockish, rock. and but it's not rock enough it's to not. be like that. I understand it. It's like just a lot of noises happening, and I hadn't listened to that before. It's debatably one of my favorite genres. Noises. Yeah, like noisy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Demographics are always changing, and I think that that's a good thing. And I think oh that in order to gain an audience, you have to find what your sound is. And I think that early in his career, he didn't know what his sound was. So when he, whenever he was like, girl, I love you, I want to be with you, and that's what his old music was like, I think, especially whenever you move to a new environment, moving yeah. from Texas to New York is a huge change, a huge mm-hmm. shift just in your surroundings. Mm-hmm. So I think that your music is going to change and your sound is going to change. And I think that he's just going through the phases and like the ups and downs of trying to find what fits him best. Yeah, I agree. That's really good. Thanks. Um, and in the concert, I was like, what is this going to sound like? Mm -hmm. Because understandably, you come out with a new album, you're definitely proud of it, you want to be showcasing that, Mm -hmm. but your old audience is still, like, probably here from the, hey girl, let's dance, you're so pretty. What did you think about that, about the change? He did really well, like, that, it was so well done, okay? Mm -hmm. His, so his first opener is, like, was, like, someone that he knew growing up and like performed like three songs mm-hmm. which was really nice because like from the woodlands houston it was like his home ish show hometown show and then the second opener stephen dawes <laughs> was very it was like old peter mcpollin like i feel like they had him there to appease like the older fans of, like girl I love you. Let's love shake you. our hands. Steven Sanchez. He's performing soon. Or no, he already performed. That's who he should have opened for him. That guy's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, cool. And then when he came out, <laughs> <laughs> when he came out, he did a really good job of like, showcasing like his Mm -hmm. whole like everything like it was really good and you could tell like he wasn't taking the old stuff as serious he'd be like love love like (laughs) he was not singing homeboy was he was dancing he okay and i would too i would do a little have you seen i showed you the videos of him dancing no he's like down there he's doing this (laughs) it was really it was funny it was very entertaining very entertaining guy, very silly, funny little guy. That would be a really fun concert. It was fun. He definitely, like, oh, and he had his foot was broken. And, like, before in the tour, he had been uh-huh. jumping into the crowd and, crowd like, jump. No, 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 like, jumping in with them and jumping with them. Then he, like, okay. messed up his foot. So we couldn't do that anymore. And while we were there, I don't know what happened. He was. Ended up, like, breaking two of his strings, and then his finger hurt. Mm-hmm. And literally, when he hurt his finger, I was thinking, you know, Abby Lee, or in Dance Moms, <laughs> yes, yes. I hold my finger, I hope I can still dance. That <laughs> <laughs> was so funny. But obviously, everyone was like... I hope I can still dance. Everyone was very concerned about the well-being of his finger, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, But yeah, I think it was really good. Really good. I wish I could have gone. I didn't even realize. We need to go to a concert together. Yes, please. Wait, who's coming soon? Mm. I don't know. Not Pee Pee McPoopoo. He gone. Pee Pee McPoopoo loves you too. (laughs) That's the funniest thing ever. We love you, Peter. Yeah, Pee Pee McPoopoo loves you too. Like (laughs) he does. He does. You could feel it. Oh my gosh, that was really cute. Like love is in the air. His old like friends from high school were Uh there, and his like. Um, it was a AP show. Music Theory teacher was there. Oh, was, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, the it whole really fam. Cute. The was whole fam was there. It was cute. Um, and I really liked it. So I want to see what he does next. Uh-huh. What's your next move? What's his next move? Yeah. Let's <coughs> let's predict. What is he gonna do next? Probably tour it around. I think. 
I don't know. I don't think his next album will be as, like, gloomy. I feel like that's a valid mm. way to describe it. Yeah. Like, it feels like a gl- you're listening to it on a gloomy day. And I don't think his mm-hmm. next one will be like that. Mm-hmm. I think he said something about that. Or maybe I'm just making something up. But definitely I don't think it'll be back to how it was Happier, originally. But not, I, I think it'll be you, like a, a good little married. medium. Mm-hmm. I would like to see that. I would like to see some more love songs from him. Because I think Romeo and Juliet was a really cute song. It was. And I really enjoy that song. And I say, let's see some more of that, shall we? Mm -hmm. Thanks. (laughs) Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Pee Pee McPoopoo. Please cater to the audience of me. To just Avery, actually. Yes, he should write a song for me. Avery. Avery. Dedicate a song to me, please. And then, oh, wait, what do you feel like? What are you going to feel like? What am I going to feel like? Just a girl. Oh, yeah. You're just going to be girl. Avery's just a girl. Oh, that's how it should go. Come Make it now. Just send it me? over to him. He'll sing it. Yeah, I'll lay down the track. <laughs> I'll lay down the beat. I'll make it. I'll make the whole song for him. All he has to do is sing it. Literally, just give me your voice. That's so romantic. Okay. Anyways, so long-winded way of saying we are Peter McPullen fan club. Super fans. We are. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, tell us what you want to see next. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you already stopped it. Oh, you're so good. Thank you. You're such a good little girl. You're such a good little girl. You're such a good little piggy.